A sewage tank is an underground chamber made of concrete, fiberglass, or plastic through which domestic wastewater flows for basic treatment. There are three submersible pumps inside the tank. How these pumps work? What protection those pumps have, to maintain its system strength? Let's find out. A commercial sewage plant is a large-scale sewage treatment plant capable of dealing with wastewater and sewage generated from commercial developments such as hotels, schools, and other commercial buildings. Let's take a look inside the sewage tank. Here, where the waste from the building came from. It will drop to the basin with screen filter to separate the solid waste. And these are the pumps, it will discharge the liquid waste out in the tank, and pump it to the sewage treatment plant. And these hanging object are the level float switch. They are the one who control the sequence operation of the pumps. Let's see how they control the pumps. On the image shown, each level float switch has a designated level assignment. The lowest float switch is the low low level float switch. Next is the low level float switch. Then the third float switch is the mid level. And last is the high level float switch. High level float switch is set nearly half of the tank. This is to ensure that there is enough space for the liquid to fill in the tank in case there are pumps malfunction. The main objective of the pumps is to discharge the waste inside the tank. Let's see some simulation how float switch control the pumps. Float switch are connected in the main control panel of the sewage system. The simulation will show how float switch control the level of the tank by switching the pumps on and off. As you can see in the image, level of the tank is in low low level. It means no pumps should run on this status. So in our simulation circuit, low level alarm is energize. Let's switch on the low low level switch. As the level goes high, and the low low level switch energize. Still, no pumps will run. So the liquid inside the tank will increase its level, because there are no pumps to discharge it. As the level increasing, it will energize the low level switch. Depends of the waste volume coming from the building, Pump 1 should take out all of these waste out of the tank. If pump 1 cannot discharge all the waste, the level will continue to increase, till it reach the mid-level float switch. When mid-level float switch activated, pump 2 will energize. Two pumps now are working to discharge the waste out of the tank. If the volume of waste from the building is bigger than the volume of waste discharged by two pumps, the level of waste will maintain its level or it will increase till it reach the high level float switch. At this point pump 3 will energize. Now, three pumps are working to discharge the waste out of the tank. Pumps are designed according to the maximum volume of waste that building can produce. When level decreasing, float switch will reset and pumps will get off one by one. Now, take a look at this. When low level float switches to energize, pump 1 is still running. As you can see, when low low level float switch was to energize, that's the time pump 1 will get off, and low level alarm will activate it. This is to protect the pump 1 for getting on and off, when level goes high and low. Meaning, low level float switch will energize pump 1, and low low level float switch will de-energize it. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Every time you hit the like button, you help us growing our channel. Subscribe as well to notify you when there's new video uploaded. Thank you very much and have a good day.